Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are out doing some Funko Pop hunting. Actually, recently Target this week put up a sale for toys including a bunch of Funko Pops saying if you spend $100 you get $20 off. So 20% off is actually a really good deal, especially since Target normally has some pretty cheap pops. Anyway, you know, maybe, normally being a little bit less than what Hot Topic and uh, box lunch and all those are so we're gonna head actually in because i saw that they said that they have some of the new new york comic-con exclusives in here at least the festival of fun exclusive so we're gonna go inside here and check out uh what pops they have and maybe what other exclusives we can find so let's get hunting and over here in the back the collector spot where they have all the funko pops i definitely picked a great day to come in because it looks like they have a lot of newer stuff and exclusives Starting right here up on top, here's the new Madam Web from the animated Spider-Man series. They got that Target exclusive one. Definitely really cool, might be picking that one up. They have some of the newer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pops as well. Here is Leonardo. Here is the uh, Gringotts Bank Pops uh, from Harry Potter. Here is uh, one of the uh, bank tellers from Gringotts, the Head Goblin. Here is uh, Regal Ir Iron from Game of Thrones. We saw that actually came in last month. Here is the t-shirt, I actually just got that in the mail myself, so I will be showing that off pretty soon. The Spider-Man one looks pretty cool. Down here, definitely what I came in for because I saw this pop up in the app, it's Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek, and this is the little bit Alexis outfit. Definitely love that episode, love that show. We also have some other exclusives like Katie from Shang-Chi. Over here are some other Teenage Mutant Intro ones, Michelangelo. Uh, Diplosaurus, the Target exclusive Diplosaurus from Jurassic Park. I see a shockwave here. Oh, back here is actually, looks like it's the zombie Doctor Strange. That's pretty cool. And then down here, it looks like we have the new art series, Target exclusive art series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's Splinter, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Don't really like those too much. Haven't liked the art series ones. They have a bunch more over here as well and it looks like down here they have a couple other ones it looks like a target exclusive dug with puppies really cute actually have a lot of the madam web and then also over here i definitely have to pick up the black light what if t-shirt that looks really awesome and they also have the P uh, pietro maxima t-shirt they got one of those left but i'll definitely have to pick up this black light t-shirt because that looks sick we definitely picked up a ton of awesome exclusive items here at Target, and that deal is definitely great. And it was $20 off $100 on toys and games, not only for Funko, it's for a bunch of different stuff, but we definitely got some great stuff here. But we're gonna head home and check out everything we got today in our haul. All right, we are back home, and we have some awesome pops that I was able to pick up from Target. I'm glad I stopped by because it was a lot more than I thought that we would be able to find. Um, we're actually going to start off with my favorite pop that I picked up today. I've been looking for this ever since it was announced and I'm so glad we finally got it in our hand. And it is Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek. This is the New York Comic Con exclusive. This is a, such, such an awesome pop and I, I definitely happy we got this in my collection. I have all the Schitt's Creek Pops except for the uh, David Rose Chase. Now there is supposed to be some new uh, Schitt's Creek Pops that should be coming sometime in 2022. Uh, I did have our friends over at the Pop Lot Shop actually posted that a while ago. They got a list with some Schitt's Creek Pops. So if you guys have not watched Schitt's Creek, definitely get on that. But this pop right here is really, really awesome because it is actually from one of my favorite scenes in the entire series where it actually goes, uh, Alexis shows off her talents by uh, singing her song from her album that she put out years before called A Little Bit of Alexis and it's absolutely hilarious. I love this moment. She has the dress on and the boots. It's really, really funny how she tries to kind of dance and move around while in that outfit, which very hard to do but she tried to pull it off anyway and alexis is always a funny character i love the stance it really brings out her personality and that's what's really great when you have a pop that really brings out the personality of a character this pop absolutely does it so this is really an awesome awesome uh, addition to the Shits creek line and i can't wait for the other ones to come out 
And then while we were there, we also saw a newer Target exclusive, a brand new Marvel pop. This is the uh, Zombie Strange from Marvel What If. And so we, I, we were able to pick up all of the uh, Marvel Zombies pops from What If we saw there on the back. I also just recently got in the Spider-Man um, Zombie Spidey Hunter on Mass from Hot Topic 2. So that was really cool. Uh, but now I was able to pick up Zombie Strange, which I think is one of the coolest looking pops in this line for sure. I really loved Zombie Iron Man and Zombie Falcon because of the detail. But I just, I think the detail on this is just as good. And it looks like being zombified really took a toll on Strange here. His one eye is missing. Uh, of course, you can see some of his teeth fell out, it looks like, too. At least it looks like from, like, the middle there, you can see that the black. So I guess his teeth fell out. His clothes are all tattered. His bone is sticking out on his right leg. So that's a really cool detail, too. He still has the eye of Agamotto there. So that still stayed intact so that's pretty cool have the gray hair on the sides is no missing at all and kind of the flesh sticking out on his face i definitely really really like it not my favorite from the set but definitely still a lot of really cool detail with this pop and speaking of what if i did find that black light limited edition i guess target exclusive what if black light t-shirt this is super super awesome I did not know this was coming out. I saw it in the store and I was like, man, I gotta pick it up. It's black light. And of course, Bose Funko t-shirts are always really good. So I actually wanna pop this open and get a better look at what this t-shirt looks like. There it is. Let's see what we got. So it looks like we got the Supreme Doctor Strange. Uh, we got the Child Star-Lord and Captain Carter on there. It definitely feels nice. It actually does feel a little bit more screen printed though than what Funko shirts normally look like. But that might be to give it that more of a black light uh, reflection off of the shirt. Uh, even the logo has that type of feel to it. But still, I really like the t-shirt. I always am a big fan of the pop tees. So this is definitely one I'm going to have to wear and test out a little bit more in the black light. Uh, maybe I'll wear that for because uh, I actually just got in my last of the um, new Marvel Blacklight line from Target. So maybe I'll wear this when I go ahead and unbox and review those. That would be pretty cool. Then we also found a couple new exclusives of some bigger pops that we had there that I definitely wanted to pick up too. This next one is, uh, it is another Marvel pop. It is Madam Web from the Spider-Man animated series. And this one was just too cool to pass up. Madam Web, which we are supposed to get a movie of Madam Web sometime in the near future. Uh, I think Spike Lee is attached to that one, but it's definitely a really, really cool pop. And it is that deluxe one, so you have the throne. Kind of actually a little bit similar to the uh, Skeletor on Skeleton Throne that we got earlier in the year, but now it is a Madam, Madam Web on her throne. Madam Web definitely looks really cool. You have that long dress that kind of look goes into a snake tail. That's definitely a little bit menacing. Those red eyes on the glasses. She's kind of like an older lady, but just so much power. And I like the throne a lot because it kind of makes it look like it is a web. It's made out of webs. So that is super, super cool. And for this last one, we're getting out of the Marvel lane and we're coming over to Disney. And here's the brand new Doug Days. A deluxe Doug with puppies and this one was just so adorable this guy he has the puppies chewing on his ears and everything I didn't watch all of the Doug days episodes I actually only watched the first couple they weren't amazing uh you know ones but I still really thought they were really cute and I definitely wanted to grab this deluxe pop just because I'm a huge fan of the up movies and i love doug and i could not get the original doug pop either the flat one or the common one because they're just so expensive so i'm like hey why don't we go ahead and get this one this was the cutest one out of the bunch so i wanted to grab this one so doug's laying out in the backyard they just got the litter of puppies and now the puppies are coming in you have some of them on his back there you have a couple chewing on his ear and it's definitely really cute Doug with that big smile on his face too while it's all happening because he's so happy to have those new friends and I know he says they kind of tickles a little bit in the show too. And there we have it with our haul today from Target. Definitely a really great haul. Was not expecting as much as we had. 
unfortunately they did not have a couple things that i wanted to have there like some of the newer diamond edition uh pokemon like pikachu and bulbasaur i've been looking for months for bulbasaur i can't find him anywhere but the pikachu he hasn't hit the store quite yet uh but i'm super glad we got the other nycc exclusive alexis rose that's my favorite thing that we picked up today because i need that and i can't wait to hopefully one day get the david rose chase complete my Shits creek set because that is an amazing amazing show but i still got i think i'm all caught up except for the metallic uh spite zombie hunter spidey from walmart besides that i think i'm caught up with all of the what if pops at least the regular four inch ones just so far but let me know what you guys think about my haul today what are some of your favorite pops that i picked up here today or what were some of the cool ones you picked up recently let me know about all that in the comments down below and of course if you guys can hit that subscribe button hit that like button it only takes a second really does help us out and a lot of the uh a lot of the viewers here on the channel actually are not subscribed so if you guys can hit that subscribe button if you are watching the videos helps out a lot very much appreciate it but thank you guys so much for watching today and as always We'll see you again real soon.